Everybody, welcome back to the channel. I get questions all the time about little small or simple off-grid systems or basic layouts, things like that. Uh, so I've got a little system here that I built a few weeks ago. I figured I'd go over it today before I take off and do some maintenance. I'm carrying my batteries and chargers with me to go do some trail maintenance and things on the back side of the homestead. So I'll go over it right quick with you before I get started on my work. So let me get right into it. So I got a little 200 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. I've had this battery for, for probably a year now and it's sat in the shop most of the time. I got it on the sale when them lightning deals. So it was real cheap. So it's 200 amp hour, 12 volt lithium iron phosphate battery. And I've got my alpha inverter sitting right there, my spare inverter. Everything is Velcroed down to the top of this battery, by the way, with industrial hook and loop. Uh, so no glue, no screws, nothing in the top of this battery, no damage to the battery. Everything is Velcroed down, nothing is moving. And it's sitting on the back of a golf cart that gets taken on extreme terrain. Just got a little you know, knee pad sitting there under it, a little Harbor Freight knee pad. And I've got the handles of the battery just zip tied to the bed. It works, I mean, it don't move. And I'm talking on heels and stuff so steep that your tires just slide going down it. And it has been there fine nothing's moved nothing's shifted it's a little alpha inverter of course i got a little little anl fuse circuit protection right here disconnect switch for the inverter and for charging of course i'm using the little Austin energy controller these little controllers just work so i've bought several of them now they're just they're dirt cheap and they just they just work so i've just got alligator clips on this one right here because this is one i just carry around and charge different batteries and things if i'm needing to boost up an agm bank or something i just hook that to it and top it off so any more current than what this 100 watt panel is creating, alligator clips would not be the correct choice. This is just a multi-fit little system. It fits in the bed of this golf cart, so I chose this panel right here. So anything over that 100 watt panel, you'd want ring terminals or something, like Anderson or something like that to connect to. But for my application, this is just fine. And of course, I don't have any circuit protection on the charger because I'm with it all the time. It's never connected unless I'm within the vicinity of it. If you're using this indoors, or in a place where you're not monitoring it, you would want to add proper circuit protection to your charging circuit, of course. Uh, you know, we got circuit protection here for the inverter. That's vital, regardless if you're with it or not. You always want circuit protection. I left enough room on here. If I wanted to add a little shun or energy meter, something like that, I could, which I haven't because I've, this battery's got a little display on it right here. They call it a capacity display. It's really just a little voltmeter that connects down in the battery. It's not entirely accurate, but it's close enough. You know, based off voltage, I, I kind of know where I'm at with the battery. Run power tools or run run the well pump with the DC power supply, different things. Just just carry my power with me, just easily transportable. The battery's about 41, 42 pounds. Inverter's like five or six. So, you know, this right here is less than a sack of chicken feed or rabbit feed. So you can carry it around. If you had an RV or a boat or something like that, you know, the handles that you can carry it or you can take the stuff off to lighten it up a few pounds. Your battery is the bulk of your weight, of course. It's been working great, you know, charging tools and all that. So a quick overview, of course, we got our PV. We come to our charge controller right here. And then from the charge controller into the battery and then, you know, inverter, come back out of the battery to AC power. Pretty simple. I run your refrigerator and all that. No problem at all. So I think this battery, that battery is slam full for the rigid stuff. So I'll unplug that and I'll show you the main thing I've been using this so for. I ride the golf cart a lot at night on the trails and stuff. And if you haven't driven a golf cart or rode a golf cart at night through the woods on trails, you've been missing out. I can highly recommend that if you have the opportunity. That is just an exciting time. And I ride for hours and the batteries on the golf cart, you know, we're running, we're running flat before I was done riding. So that's why I built this system to start with, to range extend the golf cart, how far I could ride, how many hours I could ride. And I've added a bunch of lights and things on the golf cart. So for night riding. So I got my little power supply right there and you know, I got the inverter on riding behind me. Battery starts getting a little slack. I just kick the inverter on and start charging the battery backs. Every time I'm off the accelerator or going down hills, that battery's charging back up and extends my riding time, which is the main use and what I've been using this for. And it's been flawless. It keeps the batteries happy. And then the next day when I hook the golf cart back to solar, it's on charge controller. It takes less time. I have this one charging. It's just, just a rig that I built and it works. So 
trying to give you some ideas if you want to build your own little you know portable power system without using a you know putting it in a toolbox and adding all the extra expense you know this might be something you know that you may be interested in or something you could build uh, just trying to give you some ideas and of course you could do a bigger battery you could you could even put a bigger inverter on this battery you could do a 2000 watt inverter right here if you wanted to and it still fit on top of the battery of course you'd have to rearrange change your wire size things like that but just trying to throw out some ideas for you get you started in you know solar power and have a little backup system because you know if the lights go off and you had something like this refrigerator is going to run you can run some lights things like that so very very potent system for for what it is now, cost wise Two and a half hour batteries, the price varies. You can get them sometimes as low as 350, sometimes they're 500, depending on what model you pick and what brand. Of course, the little ISO Energy chargers are around 35 to 40 bucks. And depending on your, the glass of your choice, you, know, you would need more than 100 watts to keep up with a refrigerator and things day to day. So maybe 200 watts, you'd run a refrigerator if you had good, good weather and good angles. But your panels are anywhere from 75 to $120, depending on you know, what panel you choose, things like that. Uh, the inverter alphas are usually about 175 if they got the coupon on them. This little switch, uh, I think it was like nine bucks, something like that. And then a power queen fuse, seven to eight, nine dollars, depending on the coupons and whatever little wire and accessories you need, you know, just kind of figure that in. But all this was just spare parts and uh, put it together, made something. So hopefully it helps somebody. Uh, anyhow, Hope y'all enjoy. Y'all have a nice day. Y'all take care and be safe. I got some we didn't do.